Hi, I'm Alex and welcome back to the Boathouse Paddle series where we talk about everything concerning paddle. Today, we're gonna to talk about localized prices and a free tool that we from Boathouse provide called cleanpricing.com. So what does this tool solve? Well, in paddle, you have the option to turn on automatic currency conversion. What that does is if you specify a base price in dollars, for example, when the customer checks out, they will see their local currency on the checkout page. And the problem is the exchange rates will convert $120, for example, into 128.71 euros or pounds or whatever. And it looks not quite right. Uh, you'd like to have a better experience showing your users a pricing that feels as if you've adapted it for that market. It's still better to show the local currency even with strange decimal points than just the dollar pricing. It will increase your conversion rates. But cleanpricing.com will help you create just slightly adapted prices so it looks better to that to the customers from any country. So if you go to cleanpricing.com, the first thing you'll do is enter your base price. Now, we can use euros here, or we can just go ahead and use USD and start with a base price of 10 US dollars. Now, by default, you can see here, if the no cleaning option is activated, it will just convert these prices using the current exchange rate, and then you'll see what prices you'll actually be getting. For example, you can see these 1468 Australian dollars, which isn't a nice round price. And then there's a couple of options you can activate. So first off, you can go ahead and activate rounding. And this will just basically chop off the decimal points and get you a round price for that country. And if we have a look at the difference column here, you can see what the difference is to the pure exchange rate conversion. So you can see in Australia, the price has gone up a slight bit. Armenia, it's gone down a bit. A lot of the others are fairly straightforward. They're pretty much the same as the exchange rate conversion. If you need to see the details, you can hover over the question mark here, and you can see what exchange rates are being used or how the calculation is being done. You can go a step further if you don't want um, like just round prices, but you want what is called just less prices or charm pricing, what is often referred to, is this 9.9 at the end. So it's a price that is uh, close to something higher, but it feels much lower. And we have a number of rules here um, on how to convert that. And this is based on academic papers. Specifically, I want to point out these 111, which you can see in some countries, um, Armenia is one, Japan is another, where charm prices, so prices that feel lower than they are, um, aren't always 99 at the end. In those countries, it's actually better to have these three ones at the end. So this is often a country where the currency doesn't have decimal points, for example. But this is all linked in the about page on uh, cleanpricing.com, where you can find out what papers we've referenced here to create these conversions. And by switching on this option, you can see there's a little bit of a bigger difference in some countries. The Biggest option um, or the biggest change you'll find is rounding and just less pricing, which combines both of those and has higher effects in some countries, but you get really nice round prices. Now, there is one additional option, which is purchasing power parity. If you switch that on, the difference will be much greater. The reason is PPP, as it's called, uses the price index of that country to adapt your prices. So what the effect is that for US customers, $10 feels the same as in a different country, the PPP adapted price. So if I switch that on, for example, you'll see here, okay, for example, in Argentina, where they have a different price feeling or the prices feel differently, you'll have a much lower price, which is almost 1,300% less than the pure exchange rate. But Based on UN data that we use for this, it should feel more like $10 to a US customer. These are quite drastic changes and it's not necessarily everyone's cup of tea. So you can choose between the different rounding prices. We're just going to go with rounding and just less prices and keep PPP off for now. Now, how do you get this into your payment provider? Well, we have a number of export options. You've got CSV and JSON for the uh, different payment providers, Stripe and so on. You can import those there. But we have a first class integration into Paddle via the API. And what it does is it's just going to generate a script for you. So you don't have to put your Paddle key into uh, cleanpricing.com or anything like that. You can just copy the command. 
Uh, I'm going to head over to a text editor here and paste that in. Now, I'm just going to scroll to the beginning. The main payload of this command is just all the prices that you upload. But what you want to do is replace the pricing ID and your Paddle API key. And also, because this is a Sandbox account, I'm going to prefix the URL with Sandbox uh, API just so that it points to the right server. So the first thing I'll need is the price ID that I'd like to change. So I'm going to go ahead into my account and let's just select the lifetime deal here and copy that price ID. Heading over here, I'm going to go and add that here. And then you want to replace the Paddle API key, which you could find at the developer authentication. And we're just going to copy this key here, heading back into the text editor and over here, paste that key. Now I'm just going to copy the whole command that I have here, head over into a terminal and paste it. Now this command is long. It's multiple lines long. Again, most of the data you can see down here is just the JSON data of the country and the price mapping that uh, clean pricing has generated for you. But if you go ahead and execute that command, you might have not noticed it, but Paddle will actually give you that same data set back. But if we have a look uh, a little bit higher, you can see the return command starts about here. You can recognize it because in this case, it does say data, which is the way the Paddle API responds. And at the end, you can even see the, the meta request. So if you execute this in the terminal, you'll have to keep your eyes open that what has happened, but the Paddle API has accepted this. But you can of course see the change if you just go into your products and into the pricing that we just changed, which was this one. And first of all, you can see the $10 base price has changed because that is what we added to, um, added to clean pricing. But what you can also see is that if you open country specific pricing, you can see all of the changes that we've made. Click on edited will just highlight those that we've changed. And you can see all of these prices here um, that have the clean pricing value or the clean value that cleanpricing.com has generated. And that way you can show your customers really round pricing for their local currency and it just looks a lot neater that way. I hope you enjoy the tool. If you have any feedback, get in touch. There's a contact link on cleanpricing.com. Thank you.